Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. Let's get a timer going really quick. Are you looking to speed up your PixInsight workflow by allowing programs or processes such as Star Exterminator, Noise Exterminator, or even Blur Exterminator to run much faster than they are? Well, today I'm going to show you a one-step way to GPU boost PixInsight. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now, PixInsight generally runs off of the CPU, and that's where the limitation is. That's why certain processes, such as your AI-based processes like Star Exterminator, Blur Exterminator, and Noise Exterminator run kind of slow. In order to speed those up, you need to take the load off of the CPU and move it onto the GPU. Now, it used to be where you would download CUDA, you download the toolkit, you would end up um, hopping into your uh, computer and changing things around within your computer systems. And then you would go into PixInsight, rename the TensorFlow file that came with PixInsight, and then insert CUDA's TensorFlow file, thus giving uh, PixInsight access to the GPU and run GPU processing. But that could be risky. If you don't know what you're doing, you could really mess up your computer. Fortunately for us, we now have a repository link that we just plug in the PixInsight, and that gives PixInsight access to all of the CUDA software and the TensorFlow files. You don't have to make any changes within your computer or download any extra programs because it's all right there within that repository link, including the TensorFlow file that you need. Now, before you do that, you do need to make sure that your computer is compatible with a CUDA-enabled uh, NVIDIA GPU. Now, as you can see here, Star Exterminator just finished, and we started that at the beginning of this video. Now, in order to GPU boost PixInsight, the first thing that we're going to do is go to our favorite web browser, and we're going to go to google.com. What we're going to do here is we're going to type in RC Astro. And if you don't see it pop up, just continue typing until you do. And we're going to click on RC Astro. We're going to go to this link right here, RC Astro. Take your astrophotography to the next level. From here, we're going to go to Info and come down to GPU Acceleration for AI Powered Tools. Now, I recommend reading this article. It has a lot of good information, and it also outlines that process that I just described with how we used to CUDA boost or GPU boost uh, PixInsight. It's good information. I highly recommend reading it. But eventually, what we're going to do once you're done reading the article is we're going to go to please see this post on the PixInsight forum for more details. We'll click on the link. And that's going to bring us to the PixInsight forum. From here, this gives you a base idea of what you need in order for this to work. If we click on this NVIDIA page, we're going to see a lot of graphics here. Now, as we click on these graphics, it'll bring up lists of CUDA-enabled uh, NVIDIA GPUs. You need to make sure that the GPU that you have on your computer matches one of the GPUs listed in these many lists here. And there's several of them to go through. Once you find that your GPU on your computer is listed in one of these lists, what we're gonna do is go back to the PixInsight forum here, and you're gonna see two repository links. What we want is the repository link with GPU listed at the end. So rcastro.com slash tensorflow slash pixinsight slash GPU. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that repository link. 
we're going to hop into Pixinsight, and I'm going to exit out of Star Exterminator and IC1805. What we're going to do is go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. From here, you're going to click Add, and then you're going to paste the repository that we just got from the Pixinsight forum into the box and click OK. Now, I already have the repository link, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but once you click OK, you'll click OK. And we'll go back into Resources, Updates, and then you'll check for updates. What PixInsight will do from here is check for the repository link that you just inserted. Now, again, I already have the repository link, so there's no updates currently available for me. But what you'll find is you'll get a box and it'll list the updates that it found. The repository link that you just pasted in would be one of them. And then what you'll do is just click apply. And then um, what you're going to want to do is exit out of PixInsight. You may or may not get a little window that pops up in the middle that states uh, something along the lines of, do you want to allow the application to make changes to your device? If you get that window, click yes, and PixInsight will go ahead and update with the new repository. And at that point, uh, PixInsight should restart. If it doesn't, just go ahead and reopen PixInsight and then test out an image. Now, if you have any issues, or it doesn't work, um, it, or you want to go back to CPU, then what you're going to want to do is copy the um, repository link here with CPU at the end. What you're going to want to do here is copy the, uh, the repository link with CPU. We'll go back into Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, and you'll come down to the repository link with GPU at the end, double click, paste the repository with CPU in it, click OK, and then click OK. Now, as you saw just a moment ago, I already had the CPU one in there, and that's because I had to revert back to do this video. Once you have CPU back in, then we'll do the process over with updates, uh, check for updates, and then PixInsight will find that the repository had been updated to CPU. And then you'd click apply and do that whole process. Now, if you had any issues, you're going to want to diagnose them, see what happened. It could be a compatibility issue. Um, this is for Windows computers only. So make sure you take note of that. This You do need a Windows computer. I believe it's Windows 10 and up. Um, but once you diagnose the issue and if you wanted to revert back to GPU, what you're going to do is copy the repository link, head into PixInsight, Resources, Updates. And this is a little bit different, so make sure to pay attention. Manage Repositories. We'll come down to where you have the CPU repository. Paste the GPU repository. Click OK. OK, we'll go to Resources, Updates, and Reset Updates, and then we'll click Yes. Now, once we click Reset Updates, what we're going to do is exit out of PixInsight, and then you'll get a box that states you want to allow this application to make changes to your device. Click Yes, and then you'll see that PixInsight is updating. So that update box that pops up in the middle locked up my screen recorder. But once you get that box in the middle that says, uh, do you want to allow the application to make changes to your device? Click yes, and then you'll see PixInsight update. Now PixInsight should restart automatically. If it doesn't, just go ahead and reopen PixInsight. And then you'll get a little box in the middle that states that the updates have been performed successfully. Just click OK. Now, you may or may not get a box in the top left over here that says that there's updates available, and that's because we reset the updates. If you get that little box, just click on it and then perform the updates. Um, you'll have to reclose out of PixInsight and uh, go through that update process again.
But once that update process is done, um, what you'll see under resources, updates, manage repositories, that you'll be back on the GPU repository. Let's go ahead and open up IC1805 again. And let's go into process, all processes. And let's go ahead and run star exterminator again. Triangle, drag and drop. And you'll know if the GPU boost is working because it'll run much, much faster than what it did before. And as you can see here, we are now GPU boosted in PixInsight. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you did and want to help support the channel, check out that join button and consider joining a Hidden Light Photography membership. There's lots of perks that come with being a Hidden Light Photography member, and your support really helps me create more content for you. Also, do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any useful information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you find this useful? Are you already GPU boosted? And if so, how much did it speed up your workflow? And then, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.